Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School. What I wanted to do today was I wanted to introduce you to a Holsfer's Brooks Axe. And this is a very similar style Swedish axe to both the S.A. Wetterlings and the Gransfer's Brooks. However, Holsfer's Brooks is the oldest axe manufacturing facility in Sweden. Actually the oldest in the world as far as mass production of this type of axe. They've been making axes at Holtzfer's Brooks since 1697. The quality and everything seems to be about the same to me as the other two companies. This is a 20 inch hunter style axe and they call this their classic axe. We're going to give it a little bit of a run today and see how we can do things with it from chopping wood to maybe some fine carving stuff, fire prep and things like that. One thing that I'm pretty impressed with with this particular company over the other two Gransfers or Wetterlings is the axe mask sheath design and it's basically a flip over type sheath that has a leather thong that goes around the back side and pulls tight and you can just slip it through and half hitch it off and the advantage to that to me is just about every axe mask I make after market has this same type design where it's just a over the top here mask here and it's tied down with leather. Snaps fail over time. I don't care who the axe manufacturer is, snaps will fail over time. The strap loosens up over time. I've noticed that especially with Gransfer's Brooks. You have no way to adjust that strap because the snap is in one place. With this type mask, you can fully adjust it with this leather loop design, no matter how much that leather cordage stretches out. It's also very easy to replace if something happens to that leather cordage, it's very easy to put another piece of cordage or bank line or paracord or whatever you have on you and in your kit in there to replace that. Another big advantage over the Wetterlings or the Graspers, which both have a riveted wraparound strap that has a snap on it. As far as the front goes, it's got a nice welt in between right here at the bit. It has one, two, three, four, five heavy rivets in there. It's not sewn, it's completely riveted. And again, it does have a nice thick welt. I think overall, this mask design is far superior to Gransfer's or Wetterman's. So if the quality of this axe is just as good and the availability is better, I know I'm going to like this axe. Let's go beat it around a little bit and see what we can do with it. Stay with me, guys.
guys I hope you enjoyed this really quick down and dirty review of the Holsters Brooks classic or hunter style axe we uh, processed some wet oak with it we processed and made a couple tools we made a quick mallet so that we could use it on the back of the axe did some fine carving and notching in this stick made a pot notch and a log cabin type notch then we also scraped down some fire type materials and made some feather type sticks out of some softer wood and then we scraped down some fat wood and actually lit a fire with it and we did all of that with this axe today so an axe is a very very good tool understanding it learning how to use it and also using it whenever you can as a replacement for your knife will just make you more apt with that tool if you get stuck with an axe and no knife i'm dave canterbury with the pathfinder school i thank you for joining me today i thank you for everything you do for our school for our business for our family for all of our sponsors affiliates instructors and friends and i'll be back with another video as soon as i can thanks guys